guys, I am Edge Summer, and today I'm gonna talk about something that most people ask me about. How to make your hair grow healthier, shinier, thicker. All of these questions have pretty much the same answer with hair chronogram. I don't know if you have heard about it, I couldn't find anything in English, so if you haven't, I don't doubt you. So I guess this is a secret that we've been using in Brazil. So what is hair chronogram? Hair chronogram is pretty much a schedule of care that you have to follow in order to have a healthier hair. And that will solve most of your problems with growth, with uh, shiny uh, thickness and everything that you have. The hair chronogram was created to rebuild damaged hair uh, the hair that is too thin or to feed the hair strands that lost the nutrients because of the water, you know, with chlorine or because of sun exposure or because of pollution, uh, hair dryer damage, everything like that. And it's funny that most people think that Brazilians have naturally beautiful hair, but that's not true. Most people go to the hair salon to get their hair treated and they do do a lot of things in the house uh, by themselves to uh, maintain the hair so this is something that you can do in your house and it's not very expensive of course there is no hair miracle because what there is is consistent you have to do a little bit every week in order to have great hair and that's it it's not very hard and everybody that tells you that there is a miracle is lying. Seriously. You don't have to have expensive stuff and you don't have to have only one shot product that is gonna be amazing and never used in your life. That's a win. So how does it work? First, you have to see what is, um, what is wrong with your hair. You have to identify the damage or is it breaking a lot, or is it dull, or is it not growing? You have to find that out. Each chronogram has a purpose. You can build your own chronogram with the goal that you want to achieve. However, the first month, there is like an official chronogram that everybody has to follow. So what you're gonna do is, on the first week, you're gonna wash and you're gonna use a product for moisturizing your hair. And then you spend two days without washing and then again apply another mask for moisturizing. And after that, you're gonna wash your hair again and you're gonna put a mask for nutrition. You can use mask or oils for nutrition. I'm gonna talk about that later. You're gonna do the same thing on the second week and then on the third week, you're gonna do the moisturizing, moisturizing steps, and then you're gonna change it. Instead of nutrition, you're gonna do a reconstruction. And then on the fourth week, you're gonna mix again the steps for moisturizing, moisturizing, and nutrition. You can custom your own week according to what you need. If you need any help, I will list all the other plans in my blog so you can just print and follow whatever you want okay so first step how to moisturize with masks you can use the natural ones or you can use store-bought ones they are usually a thick cream you simply apply to your hair and let it up and let it absorb all the ingredients usually most hair is dry and you need to put the water back inside of the hair strain. That is why some people get frizz a lot and sometimes that you can't get your hair straight without it looking funky. So right now for, um, for the mask, you can make your own in the house, but I just decided to, um, to buy this one and I pretty much use it every time that I shower instead of uh, conditioning. I use this and I let it you know, absorb for around five to seven minutes. And that will solve a lot of problems. This is why it has a lot of moisturizing in this in this first month. How to feed your hair? Your hair is lacking nutrients, so you have to put it back inside of the hair again. The nutrition step 
will um, put the nutrients back inside of your hair. And this step will also make your hair shine again. You usually do this step with oils, but you can also use masks. For the oil, I am using this one from uh, Paul Mitchell, but I got this one from Octavio in an Ipsy bag and I'm really liking it. I have used Argan before in Brazil, not from this brand though, but pretty much every brand that has real Argan oil, only Argan oil, you can use it. You don't have to just buy one that is expensive. As a matter of fact, even olive oil helps and it works pretty well too. I used to, uh, to use them on the tips of my hair. It's really, really great. But you should invest in coconut oil and my favorite one, argan oil. And at first, it kind of looks like the hair is going to be oily, but no, it's not. You're going to put on the body and tips of your hair and you'll be surprised how much it will absorb, you know, just in a couple of minutes. And then it will look dry again. <laughs> so don't be afraid to put, you know, a, a very good dose on it because it needs it. And how to rebuild your hair. The reconstruction will rebuild damaged hair and it will put it back all the protein that your hair had lost. Uh, it will help with the damaged hair and with thin and weak hair as well. So usually you have to use masks. I don't know any brands in America that have the rebuilt specifically uh, on the, their label or reconstruction, but if you can't find any, look for the labels that says keratin, uh, arginine, and um, collagen. So this was the tip. I hope that you liked it. And if you want to see more of the, these kind of tips, uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any doubts or if you're going to do that at your home, uh, I want to see the before and the after and I want to hear your thoughts. So leave me a comment. Bye.